In Medicine and Money, our next guest says it's not enough to choose Medicare coverage. You also need to have a plan to get the most for your money. Joining us now is Chuck Swenson, Senior VP of Medicare and Retirement at United Healthcare. Thanks for coming on the show today. Yes, thank you. Great to be here. When trying to get or stay healthy, what should people keep in mind? Yeah, so here we are. It's 2020, and people made their selections last year. So now we know it's, this is the time when you want to get to know your plan. So understand what's covered. Understand when you go to the doctor or you need to have a visit, what that's going to cost. And you're also going to want to know what are the additional benefits that you have. Right now is a great time to get some of those preventive services going because a lot of Medicare plans have that. So that could be um, screenings for certain tests. It could be annual wellness visits. And then the next step down, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, there are a lot of different benefits that those have, which could be gym memberships, it could be, um, it could be hearing aids, it could be vision, dental. So now's the time to really get to know what you have in your plan. Many people are retired and living on fixed income, so every dollar counts. What tips do you have to help them manage their health care costs? Yeah, so the, the good news is most people that made selections, they're, they're set for their costs and what they're going to need to pay for the year. So if you're in a Medicare supplement plan, you know what you're going to have to pay monthly to keep those costs down to cover original Medicare, what it doesn't cover. But if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan as well, too, you're going to have those low co-pays that you can work through that you know about. And then you're going to know what the maximum out of pocket is that no matter how much you use your plan, it'll, it, you'll never go over a certain cost for the year. So it's good for people to know that right out of the gates so that they can keep their costs in check. Prescription drug costs continue to be a concern for many people. How can they save money? It is, and we know that the cost of medications continues to rise. I think the good news is, at least for those in Medicare for this year, that's all set. So if you're on a prescription drug plan or your drug plan's included in your Medicare Advantage plan, you know what your co-pays are going to be for the year. They're not going to change, and you also know um, what, what you're going to have to do as far as getting access to those. So the good news is that. Now, what I recommend for people to do, if there's additional ways that they want to save costs, ask their doctor, ask their pharmacist, of these meds that I'm taking, is there any alternatives, like generics? Could I have a generic version or an alternative? There, so there are additional ways to continue to get more cost savings as those drug prices become a challenge. Are a lot of people making mistakes and losing money? I think if they're staying close to talking to their pharmacist and their doctor, they're set up. They can also talk to their plan provider. They're really well rehearsed in what they need to do to get the best costs. What are some additional resources people should be aware of if they're looking to stay healthy and save money with their Medicare plans? So uh, the practical thing to do, I recommend, is to take your member card and call that number on the back, your member services number. Those people are ready to help you not only with the plan the coverage but also the costs. If you're interested in learning more about United Healthcare, you can go to uhcmedicarehealthplans.com. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. I'm happy to be here. Thanks.